Hello everyone, we are here at Disney's Beach Club Resort to show you a garden or woods view room. This room does sleep up to five adults and has a good amount of space for everyone. Now this is a regular hotel room, not like the Beach Club Villas where they have deluxe studios and one and two bedroom villas. Just a regular hotel room, so no kitchenette, no kitchen or anything like that. But like she said, it is a pretty good sized room and we're really excited to show it to you. So let's go check it out. When you first come in the room here on the left, you'll find your coffee maker. They do have a Keurig in these rooms, as well as some K-cups and creamer and sugars. They have a little picture up above the coffee maker of Mickey and Minnie flying a kite. Really cute, although I'm pretty sure Mickey's shorts are on backwards. Not sure what's up with that. And down below our coffee maker, there's a little cabinet here that hides your mini fridge. There is no freezer in this mini fridge, but they do have a pretty good sized fridge there. Next to the coffee maker is the closet. Inside this closet is where you'll find your built-in safe there in the wall. You also have a luggage rack down below, as well as the closet rod with some hangers and your extra pillow and blanket up there on top. Behind me is the bathroom area. You can see the entire area is open. There's no door or anything on the main part of the bathroom here. We've got a double vanity with a good amount of counter space in here, as well as the little shelf up above to put your toiletries on. They've got the big mirror there and the two recessed lights, but not a ton of lighting here in the bathroom area. And then over on the right is the other half of the bathroom where you do have a door that separates. You've got a full length mirror on that door. Inside this room, you'll have your toilet as well as all of your towels. We have a tub with a shower. We've got some nice tile work there in the shower, but no characters or hidden Mickeys or anything in the shower. But there is a little hidden Mickey right here on the shower curtain in the bubbles. And they've got those kind of spread throughout the pattern. That's the only Mickey we were able to find here in this room. Coming into the main part of the room here, you can see we have a couch there that pulls down into a twin size day bed, as well as two queen size beds. And this room again does sleep five people. We've got a little Mickey on the bed left by housekeeping for us. We have some lights up above the beds as well as a nightstand in between the two beds where you'll have a couple USB outlets as well as some wall outlets there and a few drawers for storage. These beds are not the raised beds with storage underneath so you don't really have a lot of room to put your suitcases other than the closet here in this room. On the other side of the room, we have a small bench there in the corner, as well as the dresser here, several drawers and cabinets here. So you have some storage space for your clothes, as well as some additional USB and wall outlets on either side of this dresser, right below the TV here in the room. Then we have our day bed that is a couch normally. And of course you can flip that down to a twin. We'll show you that in just a minute. And above it, there's some pictures of seashells and coral and things like that. But Again, no hidden Mickeys in there, even though I looked. We've got a lamp there in the corner. And over on the other side, we have a desk that has another lamp as well as a mirror up above it. And this desk does have, again, some USB outlets and wall outlets built in. And then under the desk, we actually have another table. If you pull the chair out, this table is on wheels, so you can pull it around the room. Very convenient, especially if you're sitting over on the couch or on one of the beds to pull that up next to you. And then our room does have a little patio because we're on the first floor. Of course, if you're on a higher floor, you're likely to have a balcony, although those are not guaranteed here at this resort. We have a couple chairs as well as a small table out here on our patio. Not a ton of space, but we do have this sidewalk here. And this is the sidewalk that will actually take you all the way to the main sidewalk over to the International Gateway of Epcot. So we're really, really close to Epcot. And you probably can't hear it on the video, but I can actually hear music from Epcot through the woods right here. So even though we have that garden or woods view, we actually have some music coming in from Epcot, which is kind of cool. And as we head back inside the room, you can see Alyssa has pulled down that day bed, revealing the twin size bed there. So once again, you can see we sleep five people here in this room and the day beds are actually pretty comfortable here in these rooms. I have slept on those and they're not too bad, especially compared to those pull out couches. And that concludes our tour of this garden or woods view room here at Disney's Beach Club Resort. We hope you enjoyed that room tour. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up below and comment with any questions you have. We're happy to answer those. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that subscription button and notification bell so you get notified whenever we post new videos of room tours, resort tours, or other fun Disney content. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. We're here with the ears.